Over the past few years I've tested pretty much every new Garmin watch that's been released and I published reviews about them on this channel. One of the key features why people buy a Garmin watch in the first place probably is navigation. Some models like the Phoenix 8 and Duo 3 or 4965 are small but complete navigation systems for your wrist. More affordable watches like the Venue 3 or Vivoactive 5 on the other hand only offer very limited navigation features. However, you can enhance these significantly with the Komoot app. Therefore, in this video we'll take a closer look at using the Komoot app on Garmin devices. I'll show you how to set it up, plan and sync routes and how its navigation works on Garmin devices. I'll cover both budget friendly and higher end Garmin watches as well as devices like the Garmin Edge 1050 bike computer. We'll also compare Komoot's navigation with Garmin's built-in navigation. So regardless of which Garmin model you're currently using, if you're interested in using Komoot, this video is for you. And at this point I'd like to mention that I personally use the free version of Komoot, there is however also a premium version which we'll touch on as well in this video. And with that, let's dive right in, have fun! Let's start by looking at which Garmin watches are suitable for using the Komoot app. The manufacturer's specialized outer watches as well as some of its higher priced models come equipped with topographic maps. This means that when you buy the watch you get free maps included that you can use for navigation. This includes models like the Descent watches, Endure 2 and 3, the Apex models, Phoenix 5X and above and the 4945, 955 or 965. You can simply search for something like Garmin watches with topoactive maps on Google and you'll quickly find this Garmin support page. I've also linked this page in the video description. Here you'll find a list of all Garmin watches with built-in topographic maps. For all these watches I honestly don't recommend using the Komoot app as I find Garmin's navigation to be way better and more customizable. Later in the video I will also show you all the differences. But of course if you want you can still use the Komoot app on these watches. Personally I don't use the Komoot app on my Apex Pro but I still use the Komoot service to plan my route in advance and then load them onto my Epix Pro. And later in this video I will show you exactly how you can do this. Using the Komoot app makes the most sense on Garmin watches that don't come with built-in navigation or maps. This includes some older Forerunner watches as well as the Venue or Vivo Active models. Komoot offers a nice overview on its website where you can see whether your Garmin watch supports Garmin's navigation, Garmin maps and whether you can use Komoot navigation and maps instead. The watches that are particularly interesting are those without Garmin navigation or maps but which allow you to use Komoot navigation and maps instead. This includes models like the Venue 3 which I currently use as well and will use to demonstrate Komoot navigation for you in this video. Some older Garmin watches unfortunately are not even compatible with Komoot. On the Venue 3 for example you can save a position and navigate to it or return to your starting point during a workout but only with this super simple direction arrow. Then there were watches like the Forerunner 265 which do have Garmin navigation features but no pre-installed maps. Here you get a simple breadcrumb navigation where you can see your route but without any detailed map underneath. As mentioned this page provides an overview of the navigation features and Komoot compatibility for all Garmin watches. I've linked it in the video description as well. Let's now take a closer look at how to use the Komoot app on Garmin devices. First let's take a look at the Venue 3 representing the group of Garmin watches that don't come with built-in navigation or maps. To install the Komoot app on this watch or actually any external app for that matter you need to use the Garmin Connect IQ store. This is an additional free app alongside the primary smartphone app Garmin Connect. You can easily find it in the App Store or Play Store for Android by searching for Garmin Connect IQ. Alternatively you can open the standard Garmin Connect app and on an iPhone you will find three dots labeled more in in the bottom right corner where you can access the Connect IQ store. I have already downloaded this app so it will open immediately. Here you can load all sorts of external apps or watch faces onto your Garmin watch. We will simply click on search, type in Komoot and then we can select install, allow and the app will start downloading. At the bottom of the screen you can also see a list of all compatible devices. After that we return to the app and click on device at the bottom. You will see the Komoot app listed in the download queue. We just need to wait briefly for the download to finish. Once it's complete you can press the top right button on the Venue 3, scroll down and find the Komoot app. 
When you open it for the first time, you will be shown a link for logging in as well as an eight digit code. You will need to enter this link into your browser and then log in with your Komoot account details. So you will need a Komoot account for this. Then simply enter the code, allow access and your profile will be connected. Returning to the watch, you will now see all the tours planned in your Komoot account. These include details like the planned time, distance, elevation gain, difficulty and elevation profile, surface type and much more. For example, here is a hike to the Mirador de Fitzroy, which I did earlier this year on the Argentinian side of Patagonia. A truly incredible hike, to be honest, one of the most beautiful hikes I have ever done. But let's get back. Beyond planned tours, you can also record a new tour, filter tours, view your profile and access the settings. In the settings, you can switch the map design between light and dark design and toggle sport specific maps on or off. And this brings us to the first major drawback of the Komoot app because it's not entirely free. Initially, you get run free regions, so if you only want to do tours near your home, you can use it for free. For any additional region, you will have to pay a one time fee of $3.99 for a region bundle covering a larger area, the cost is $8.99, and the world package is $29.99. And then Komoot also offers a premium program that costs around 60 bucks a year. If you want to see a map under the root data in the Komoot app on your Garmin watch, you will need this premium package. Otherwise, it's just a simple breadcrumb navigation where only the root itself is displayed. I personally use the free version of Komoot and don't have premium, so that's how it looks on my Venue 3. This is sufficient for me on this watch as it's already a significant upgrade compared to the basic directional error navigation that the Venue 3 uses by default. With this root data, you can still conduct reasonable navigation, though in areas off the beaten path, such as forests, it can sometimes cause confusion, especially if there are many closely spaced trails. During navigation, the Komoot app offers various additional features. For instance, you can zoom in and out of the map, of course. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a distance indicator. The view on the Venue 3 typically covers an area with a radius of 40 to 200 meters. Additionally, you can orient the map to the north using this button. When you tap on the map, you can display a data field showing information such as the total time, speed, battery level, elevation, gradient, ascent and more. Tapping on the map again will hide this data field. If you scroll down, you'll see an overview of all the statistics such as the remaining distance to your destination, speed, ascent and so on. It's also important to note that the Komoot app provides turn-by-turn -turn directions, so when a turn is approaching, the Venue 3 will even emit a sound alert as it has a built-in speaker. If your watch doesn't have a speaker, you would only receive a vibration. Once you finish your tour, it will be saved to your Komoot account and synchronized with Garmin as well. This means you'll also see all the data from your activity in the Garmin app. Overall, the Komoot app is an excellent addition to the Venue 3 and other Garmin watches that lack built-in navigation features but are compatible with Komoot. Next, I want to show you why I believe that the Komoot app isn't really necessary for Garmin watches with built-in navigation like the Phoenix or Epix models, but how you can still use the Komoot service to plan your routes in advance. Currently, I primarily use the Garmin Epix Pro. This watch is part of Garmin's premium lineup and comes with pre-installed topographic maps that you can use for navigation for free. The same applies to the Garmin Edge by Computer Series, where I'm currently using the Garmin Edge 1050. You could, of course, also use the Komoot app on these devices, just as I showed you with the Venue 3. However, keep in mind that the map material is only available for the premium version of Komoot, and even in this case, it's not as good as Garmin's maps. With Garmin you get features like street names, points of interest and more which Komoot maps lack. Especially for mountain navigation, Garmin's maps offer far more detail including shading, contour lines and a slightly three-dimensional appearance. This makes it much easier to interpret elevations and gradients. For example, last year I climbed the Kilimanjaro with the Garmin Phoenix 7X Pro and the Garmin maps are truly excellent for such activities. By the way, I also made a video about how well the watch performed during the Kilimanjaro Manjaro Climb in general and I've linked it in the video description. A major difference compared to the Komoot maps is that Garmin's maps are routable. This means you can create new routes directly on the watch allowing you to spontaneously navigate to waypoints or the nearest bakery for example. It essentially functions like a mini navigation system. This isn't possible with the Komoot maps as navigation here only works with the pre-planned routes. However, what is now fortunately possible with Komoot is automatic rerouting, meaning that if you deviate from the planned route, you'll automatically be guided back to the original route via a new path. 
Another difference is that you can't fully customize the data fields during navigation in the Komoot app. Additionally, compared to Garmin's built-in training mode, some features are missing such as running power in watts or other advanced metrics. For these reasons, using the Komoot app doesn't make much sense for these Garmin watches in my opinion. However, you can still use the Komoot service to plan your routes. You can plan your routes in advance using the Komoot smartphone app or, as I often do, the web version. Here you can search for routes near you for inspiration or create your own route from scratch. With user-created routes you can also make adjustments. For example, you can zoom in to review the route and if there are sections you would prefer to modify, you can adjust the route accordingly. Once your routes are planned, you will need to establish a connection between Komoot and Garmin Connect for them to appear on your Garmin watch. On the Venue 3, I already installed the Komoot app on on the watch, however for my Epix Pro like mentioned, I only use Komoot for planning routes, which I then navigate using Garmin's native navigation features, so I don't install the Komoot app on the watch. Instead I go to the Komoot smartphone app, tap on profile at the bottom and then on the gear icon at the top. Under connections you will find Garmin Connect. In my case this connection is already established, but it's simple and quick to set up by logging in with your Garmin data. For me, my completed Komoot tours automatically sync with Garmin and my planned routes are also uploaded to Garmin. If your watch is connected to Garmin Connect, these routes will be automatically synced to your device. On my Apex Pro, I can simply go to the training mode and find the saved routes under navigation, including those planned with Komoot. If you can't find the route directly on your watch or if your watch isn't currently connected to Garmin Connect, you can go to the Garmin Connect app Tap on more at the bottom, then training and planning, followed by courses. Here you see the planned route with all its details and you'll also see Komoot listed as the source. By clicking on this icon at the top, you can easily send the route to your Garmin device. Alternatively, on Komoot itself, after planning a route you can click on navigate with device, select Garmin and the route will then be sent to your Garmin device. This also works with the Komoot smartphone app. Here you can choose whether you want to navigate with your phone or with Garmin. Then you can click navigate with Garmin and you'll see that the tour has been sent to Garmin. If you're using a watch with the Komoot app installed, like the Venue 3 in my case, you will get a notification saying tour received and then you can directly open the Komoot app on the watch and start navigation. This send to device function is useful if you don't want all your Komoot planned routes synced to your Garmin watch but instead prefer to selectively transfer individual routes. My Epix Pro, however, is fully connected to Komoot, which means that the route syncs automatically with the watch as soon as I plan it on Komoot, and I can then access it in the watch's training mode. So in this case, the routes were planned with Komoot, but the navigation itself is done with the Garmin maps, which, as already mentioned, I find way better than Komoot's maps. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. The Komoot app is especially useful for Garmin watches like the Venue 3 or Vivo Active 5, which don't have built-in navigation features. With the Komoot app, you can use breadcrumb navigation, or if you subscribe to Komoot Premium, you can even gain access to topographic maps. For Garmin watches that already include topographic maps, such as the Phoenix or Epic series, I don't think the Komoot app is necessary. However, I still use the Komoot app in these cases for route planning. Finally, I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If this was the case, you could really support me and my work here by giving this video a quick thumbs up. And if you have any further questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, you should also definitely subscribe to this channel. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.